Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I want to get super real with you guys about fingering yourself and why sometimes when you do it, it can hurt. Because believe it or not, this is a super common question that I get from young women who are just starting for the first time to explore their bodies and get super freaked out when they try and it not only doesn't feel good, it feels downright painful. Well, the good news is this is much more common than you think and it's much easier to solve than you might think. I'm going to give you some advice that's going to ensure that the next time you finger yourself, it's not going to hurt. It's actually going to feel really, really good. So if that sounds Sounds good to you and I'm pretty sure it does make sure you keep on watching welcome back to my channel are you serious with me oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me Unfortunately, sex education really lets young women down in a number of ways. It really doesn't teach us about our bodies and it especially does not teach us at all about the fact that our bodies can experience pleasure. So it's very common when you get to a certain age, maybe you're 12, 13, maybe you're older, maybe you're even a little bit younger than that, whatever the age is where you're starting to feel kind of a bit curious about your body and about some of the things it can do that you go on to Google and you see start looking up videos or tutorials or instructional articles on how to touch yourself and how to make your body feel good. And I know that because so many of you come to this channel because of the videos that I make on how to pleasure yourself. And honestly, that makes me so happy that my channel is acting as a source of information for you guys. And I've had heaps of great feedback from you all on those videos. But one thing that I've seen again and again in the comments section on those videos and something that I've seen a lot in my email as well from you is that for many of you when you're trying to touch yourself for the first time because you don't get given a whole lot of information about it it cannot feel comfortable and some of you really get worried that maybe there's something wrong with you because it's not feeling good well I'm here to tell you actually it's super normal for it to not feel good the first time because it's a whole new type of touch for your body to adjust to but there are some really specific reasons some very common reasons why when some girls do try to finger themselves for the first time, why it does hurt or feel really uncomfortable. And I'm going to break those down and go through them now and give you really simple, straightforward answers in terms of what you can do to fix that. If you have not trimmed your nails and if you have especially not made sure that underneath your nails is really clean, then fingering can really hurt. Your fingernails uh, can really scratch you down there because the, the tissue down in around your vulva is so delicate and it's so prone to tearing. So you definitely don't want to be going down there with long, sharp nails. By the way, guys, just to put this out there, I do not finger myself with these fingernails. Like I would never do that. I actually use toys when I am touching myself. I can go into detail on that later, but I just want to put it out there. If you have nails like this, you should not be fingering yourself because they are too long and sharp and you can really hurt yourself. So you want to make sure that you are trimming back your nails and that you are cleaning underneath them with a nail brush and lots of soap. Really make sure that you've actually filed your nails down so there's no like sharp little bits on the edge. Sometimes even if you've cut your nails back, but you haven't filed them back, then they won't won't be smooth they'll be quite rough and sometimes what can happen is you can end up with a tiny little cut down there and it can bleed and then when you see the blood you totally freak out and think that you've broken your vagina you most likely haven't broken your vagina you most likely have just cut yourself with your nail and when you do cut yourself down there sometimes it can bleed a lot because there's like a lot of blood flow in that area so make sure that you have trimmed and filed back your nails and cleaned underneath them because any bacteria or grime or dirt that is trapped underneath your fingernails can get transferred into your genitals and that can give you an infection and that stuff can really hurt that can burn like crazy and if that does happen you really need to go and see the doctor so prevent that from happening by taking this step before you even put your hands anywhere near your vulva. One of the biggest mistakes girls make when they touch themselves for the first time and something I myself did when I touched myself for the first time when I was growing up was I didn't touch myself when I was actually wet. I touched myself when I was 
dry. And if you touch your vulva while it is dry, it is going to hurt. In fact, it is going to burn. It's going to feel really uncomfortable. And that's because the tissue down there is so delicate and so prone to tearing. Any kind of friction when you don't have lubrication down there is going to feel really unpleasant. Now, what usually happens is if you're feeling really turned on, you're feeling lots of nice, sexy feelings, maybe you're thinking about your crush or maybe you have discovered porn on your computer or something and you've watched something on the internet and it's really turned you on. What usually happens is when you feel that turned on feeling, you will start naturally getting lubricated. Your vagina will actually produce its own natural lubrication and that will slowly start to come out of your vagina and you can use that lubrication, kind of squidge it around down there to keep everything really smooth and nice. But unfortunately, it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes Sometimes you just maybe don't feel turned on, but you want to touch yourself to see if you can try to make yourself feel turned on, or you think you're turned on, but when you touch yourself, it still feels dry down there. So what I would recommend is actually using a bottle of lube. You can get something like KY jelly at the shop, or you can get just whatever sort of lube that you can see at the drugstore. Usually you can get one for just a few dollars and if you put basically a small amount of that on your finger, so one or two fingers, put about sort of that much on your fingers, like that big of a dollop, and then just kind of squidge it all around down there so that all of your genital area is really covered in the lube, particularly your clitoris, because that's the spot that you want to be touching to feel those really feel good feelings. And if you don't know where you should be touching, make sure you go and watch my video on how to actually finger yourself to make your body feel good. I will link it up here and I'll link it under the video as well for those of you that haven't seen it. But that lubricant is just gonna make it all feel much more comfortable. Now, I also have had a lot of people ask me on my last video when I did talk about lubricant, well, hang on, what happens if I can't get lubricant? What happens if I'm too young to buy lubricant? I'm too embarrassed to ask my mom. I'm too scared. What else can I use? Well, the good news is you can actually just use your own saliva as lubricant. It is a pretty hygienic, reliable, safe form of lube. Basically, what you want to do is just spit onto your fingers so that you get a bit of kind of a bit of a glob, I guess kind of sounds gross, but just a bit of like saliva on your fingers. And then you can put that down around your vulva and that's going to kind of work the same way. Some people have also asked, can I use like oil like that I find in the cupboard? I would recommend against that basically because just going and getting a cooking oil out of the cupboard, it might not be safe. You don't know what sorts of ingredients are in it. While yes, coconut oil, if it is just plain coconut oil, can be safe to use on your genitals. I just do not recommend going and raiding your parents' pantry and finding oil in there that you can use because it might have some other ingredients in it. Some oils even have like chili and stuff in them. And if you get chili down there, it is gonna burn like hell. So I really recommend against that. Just either go and buy some lube if you can get some lube. Otherwise, if you cannot go and buy some yourself at the drugstore, then just use your own saliva. I have heard of this saying before and I really like to use it when I'm talking about fingering techniques for girls because it's so relevant and it is the clitoris is not a DJ booth. <laughs> Basically what that saying means is you don't want to be rubbing on your clitoris like this, like you're a DJ, right? Like going back and forth because the clitoris is super sensitive. It has around eight thousand nerve endings in it, which is why you can feel so much pleasure if you stimulate it in the right way. But it's also why you can really hurt yourself if you are going to rough on it. And what happens with a lot of girls is you, you get very kind of excited and eager and enthusiastic the first time you go down there to touch yourself and you want it all to happen very quickly. So you're kind of rushing through it. And in doing that, what you will end up doing is kind of just going too fast with that fingering. You'll be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's too rough and it is going to cause your clitoris to get really irritated 
irritated and, and feel quite painful and sore. So what you are better off doing is once you've got that lubrication on your fingers, whether that's lubricant or your saliva, what I would recommend instead of vigorously rubbing back and forth is that you very, very, very gently just circle around your clitoris. And you can see how like small the motion of my fingers is. It's not like a big motion like this. It's super tiny. Like your clitoris is basically the size of like the top of your finger. So it's just a really small surface area. And that's why I say in my video that I made about how to finger yourself, don't be using your whole finger. Just use the top kind of pad of your finger because that's the softest part. You need to be really soft and really gentle with your genitals when it comes to touching yourself. And then if and when you have someone else touch your genitals, you need to tell them that information as well. You need to tell them, my clitoris isn't a DJ booth. Please do not touch it that vigorously. Please go gentle. Please go slow. So if it's hurting, what you want to do is slow down and also make sure you put less pressure. Just keep a really really, really gentle pressure when you're actually touching your genitals and really focus on the clitoris. Make sure you're not getting confused between the clitoris and the urethra, which I'll go into in the next point. Obviously, when you're touching your body for the first time, it can be a little bit confusing, especially given the fact that, like I said at the beginning of the video, sex education just really sucks for us girls. They just do not teach us all the information that we really need to know. And we don't really get to know our bodies well. And I know when I was growing up, I was told that vagina was a dirty word. So I wasn't even allowed to say the word vagina out loud. And you guys might have that situation at home with your parents where you've been told it's a dirty word. And when you've been told your genitals, just saying the name of your genitals is a dirty word, it's not very surprising that you don't end up learning about your genitals and where everything's located down there. Because every time you think of your vagina, you just think shame and embarrassment and dirtiness. And so it's not a very good feeling. So I need you to first just get rid of all that shame that you've been taught about it. And I need you to get super familiar with your genitals because what often happens when we go to touch ourselves for the first time is that we touch the wrong spot. And that is often why it either doesn't feel good or it hurts or why it's just not doing anything for you. You're like, I'm doing it, but I'm just not feeling anything. Chances are you might actually be touching the wrong spot. So the best thing that you can possibly do is lock your bedroom door, make sure you've got the, the room to yourself, or you can do this in the bathroom as well. Get yourself a handheld mirror, take off your underwear, spread your legs open, put that mirror down there and actually like pull apart the lips of your vulva, your labia, pull them apart and actually have a look in there and take the time to see what it all looks like. I know some of you are probably thinking like, ew, gross, I don't want to like look at myself that close up. But if you can't even look at yourself that close up, you're definitely not going to be able to give your body pleasure. We need to, as girls, just get really comfortable with our bodies and looking at your own vulva is the very first thing to do. And and then when you're looking at your vulva, go and watch my video that I made about how to finger yourself because in that video, I do also talk about where everything is located. So your clitoris is at the top, your urethra, which is the hole that you pee out of is under that. And then underneath that is your vaginal opening. And that's the hole where if and when you get pregnant one day, that is the hole a baby will come out of. It is also the hole that our penis would go into if you were gonna have sex with someone who owns a penis. So what happens for a lot of girls is they won't touch their clitoris. They will actually be rubbing where their pee hole is or they'll just be rubbing over their vaginal opening. And your urethra and your vaginal opening, there's not really a lot of nerve endings there. So when you touch it, it either won't just feel like anything or it might even feel quite uncomfortable. Your clitoris is where all the nerve endings are and so that's what you want to be touching. You want to be feeling around for something that feels a little bit like a, sort of a bump, a raised kind of little bump that sits just above your urethra. And the best way to find it is to get that hand mirror out and to look at yourself. 
Now, if you've made it this far through the video and you're like, look, none of those things apply to me and it's still not feeling good or it's still hurting me, what is wrong with me? I'm here to tell you the thing that is probably going wrong for you is that you're putting too much pressure on yourself. We as girls and as women put so much pressure on ourselves to be perfect at everything. And here's the thing about pressure and stress. It is really bad for allowing us to experience pleasure. When we are stressed from putting pressure on ourselves, all of our muscles basically kind of clamp up. You might've felt that before when you've been stressed, you feel like your neck and your shoulders, everything gets stiff. Guess what else gets stiff? Your vaginal muscles get stiff. And when everything is stiff down there, it can feel really painful. It can actually really hurt. You don't actually want to be putting a finger inside your vagina when your vagina isn't relaxed because that will hurt. So if you're stressed because you're putting so much pressure on yourself, expecting yourself to feel all this pleasure the first or second or third time you finger yourself, it's probably gonna take like 10 or more times until it starts feeling good because this is a completely new thing that you're trying and that's totally okay. Just give it time and don't put pressure on yourself. If you try it and it doesn't feel good, totally fine. Just leave it, go back to it another day when you feel ready. Do not put pressure on yourself that you have to touch yourself and it has to feel amazing. You have to have a giant screaming orgasm because that probably won't happen when you start doing it. It probably won't happen for quite a while. For some women, it can even take them years to experience their first orgasm. So just be really kind and patient to yourself. I know this has been a slightly longer video, but it was so important for me to go into depth on this one because I just really feel so passionately about young women just feeling comfortable in their bodies. And guys, if you're worrying if you're too young to be touching yourself, the answer to this question, no matter what your age is, I always say is no, you're not too young because you are touching your own body. There's nothing wrong with touching your own body. There is something very wrong with someone else touching your body before you're ready. No one else should be touching your genitals if you are not ready for it, especially if you're not of legal age to be having sex with someone else. So that's a definite no-no. But as for touching your own body, you can touch your own body at any age. In fact, babies and toddlers will touch their own genitals. It's a very normal thing for babies and toddlers to do. So don't feel bad about it. It doesn't matter what your age is. You can touch your own body. It's like touching your arm touching your genitals. It's all part of your body. Don't put shame around it. The only reason you feel shame and embarrassment around it is because unfortunately we live in a society that puts a lot of unnecessary shame and pressure around sex. You don't need to feel it. You're allowed to touch your body. And I hope these tips have helped. If they have, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you would like more videos giving tips and advice on self-pleasure, give this video a thumbs up because that lets me know you want more of this content. And if you're new here, I would love you to subscribe and join my sex positive family because I have lots of videos like this for young women on my channel that will hopefully help you out. All right, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Mwah.